Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Leah, and this is another Whips Wednesday video. Um, this is, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know the date because I am filming this on the Monday prior. Um, I am filming like five, I think. Well, technically I'm filming like where you see my face three videos and then I'm doing, excuse me, doing two other videos with just like strictly my a voiceover like you don't actually see my face so all together that makes five videos that I'm doing today so yeah I'm wearing the same shirt same hair everything I know y'all don't care um but anyway yeah so I'm a little frazzled right now because this is the last video that I'm actually filming like in front of the camera and so yeah it's ooh. but I figured that would be the best thing like to me, that's just the easiest way to do it. So, anyway. The project that I'm probably the most excited about this week. And, goodness, I'm going to butcher the name of this. Because it is, like, a tongue twister. And there's a lot of words in the title. <laughs> but I will definitely link the tutorial down below. This is a tutorial from Hooked by Robin here on YouTube and it is the <laughs> let me see if I can manage to say most of it 12 point ripple ridged something <laughs> it's like a 12 point blanket but it has like this rippled effect to it and this is what I have so far. This is what I worked on at my Project Linus meeting this past Saturday. Um, beautiful. It looks like a sunshine. It's so pretty. I love this pattern. I love this yarn. This is the Mandala line brand Mandala bonus bundle that I recently bought like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm on the first cake so far. I haven't decided yet if I want to just keep this small on the smaller side or use both cakes and make like a huge blanket. I guess I'll make my, my decision when I get, you know, a little further down the line here. But so far it's going great. It's been, this is definitely, I think, been the most challenging project I've ever worked on because there are a lot of methods and such that were new to me. Um, particularly with this ruffled part, but I caught on pretty quickly. I have had to frog it a little bit here and there, but I think I have finally gotten like in the groove of it because I haven't had to watch the tutorial for the past few rows. And that's how I know I really have like the hang of it is where I don't have to go back and look at the tutorial. So that's good. But anyway, I have enjoyed this so much. Um, gosh, I have really enjoyed working on this. Okay, so hmm, the next one I have worked on. Um, if you have seen my Bernat Blanket yarn video, then you have seen this yarn already. Um, at the Project Linus meeting, I was gifted a huge tote full of Bernat Blanket yarn from one of my fellow Blanketeers. And I went ahead and started working with it because I want to go ahead and use it and make all the blankets um, before the next meeting. Just, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of that way. Like, I, I like to show people that I'm grateful and I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe that makes sense. But anyway... So here's what I have so far. Um, I'm just doing like, I think it's four inches of each colorway. And since I have two skeins of this mint blue color um, compared to one skein of the other two colorways, what I'm doing is I'm doing this mint color every other colorway. But then I'm like um, swapping out these two. So, anyway, I love how this is looking so far. I'm just doing a simple half double crochet. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, I'm just changing out the colors every four inches. 
it's easier for me to do it that way than to count the keep count of the rows. I just go by the inches. <laughs> um, so anyway, really cute. I absolutely love how it is turning out so far. And then, okay, so I have something else that I, I haven't started working on. <laughs> Some of my fellow Blanketeers cut it up for me to be the right size. But this is a piece of fleece. I don't think I'll be able to show y'all like the whole thing on here. Um, but anyway, so this is... Like I said, a piece of fleece. It's got Mickey Mouse all over it. It's super cute. But I'm just going to crochet a border around it. So I had to go today to Hobby Lobby to get me a rotary cutter and a skip blade. I'm going to do all that. And then I've got some red Ogo yarn um, that I'm going to use to, to do the border. I think that'll be really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. This will be my first time to ever do that. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting. And then the last thing I have to share with you guys is this purse. And it's not quite done yet. I've kind of put it on the back burner this week. I worked on the handle. Um, I don't remember if I had put this together last week or not when I showed, if I showed you guys. I don't remember. But anyway, I finished this, well, I finished assembling <laughs> this bag. I still obviously need to weave in the ends and finish this other handle. But anyway, I really like these colors. I did this in the same way I did the granny square bag. Um, I did a single crochet border to connect all of the squares. But yeah, I really love the different colors. I think they just go so well together. Um, it, it reminds me of like a stained glass window a little bit. It's just so pretty. Um, but anyway, that is all that I worked on this past week. So it's been kind of busy. Um, but y'all be sure to let me know in the comments down below what y'all have been working on. I always love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great day.